Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another review video. Today we are checking out this little Nearstream conference camera. We're going to do a gaming setup. This is either a 1080, 60, or 4K 30 camera. And we're going to go ahead and let you see what this thing looks like. But first, in the box, you basically get your instruction manual and you get yourself a nice little warranty card and all the good stuff. And then you got this big old honking piece of plastic with a webcam inside. And then we have the little webcam itself. This thing is really nice and really teeny. So we're going to fire up a gaming session. We're going to let you see what this looks like for gaming. Then we'll show you what it looks like full screen and I'll show you how to set it up on OBS Studio or Streamlabs and get this thing working. So let's get to the gaming and try this thing out. Now Nearstream did send me this for free and I will put a link in the video's description as to where you can get one of these if you're interested. But let's get to the gaming session and try this out. Link in the video description and the pinned comment. All right, let's go do it to it. All right, so this is the way the camera looks with absolutely no changes. This is the stock settings right out of the box. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad for a somewhat inexpensive webcam. So we're playing a game called Warobots. And let's go on over this way. But yeah, you can actually do some color correction. You can add some, even if you're on OBS Studio or if you're on Streamlabs, you can always add a little color correction filter or you can go into the main settings and change all kinds of stuff to get the webcam to look a little more the way you want. Or if you're doing some video editing, you know, a lot of video editing software will have some uh, color correction and stuff like that. So that's the beauty of things like that. You know, it doesn't really look that bad out of the box, to tell you the truth, especially for a gaming situation. This will do uh, 4K 30 or 1080 uh, 60 frames per second, depending on what you want. I mean, normally I would just go ahead and run the uh, 1080, you know, 1080 60. Or, you know, if you really want 4K, you can do that as well. Right now we do have it running in 4K mode. I'm actually using the microphone that's built into the webcam. So. All right, let's move on over this way. We're kicking everybody's butt. Right now our team's got nine kills. They got one that is so weird. I feel like. I feel like uh, something's missing without the mi the main microphone I normally use in front of my face. It's kind of cool not having it there. It opens everything up and you got this big area where there's no obstruction. So that's kind of cool, right? I like that. I like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and come over this way. And we are going to go ahead and be like, wait, 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 wait. What's going on? What's going on? Hold on. Hold on. Oh my God. Ah. Eh, they're gonna try to kill me <laughs> but I shall kill them first look this whole team's over here trying to mess me up and my robot is just dominating the battlefield we are we are kicking some red guys in the buttocks big time big time buttocks destroyer whatever that means that that came out a little wrong but yeah I mean as a gaming camera this thing looks pretty good in a minute we'll switch it over to full screen so you guys can see what it looks like on full screen but yeah right now we're just uh, running some games we got it real small in the corner and I'm gonna tell you what it seems to be doing a pretty good job it seems to be working really well all right here we go bam I set it up on Streamlabs and you know it came right up no problem I'll show you guys how to actually set it up on Streamlabs here after the gameplay I'll show you guys a little tutorial of getting your webcam to work on OBS Studio or Streamlabs. It's actually really, really easy. But let's go ahead and move on over this way. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Get him, 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 get him. Bam! Living legend. He's da 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 dead. We smashed him up. We bashed him up. We took that red guy. And my god, we got 24 kills. The other team only has three. <laughs> we absolutely dominated the red team and just broke them into little teeny pieces. So yeah, that was a uh, that was a good game for me, but a very bad game for the other team. So I had 11 kills. I got almost all of the kills, man. That guy had two. That guy had three. That was crazy. I'm not really sure what was up with the matchmaking on that game, but my team dominated. And we fed those other guys a giant turd taco. So let's go check out this camera in full screen mode so you can see what it looks like full screen instead of a small window. All right, so this is the video quality you can expect to get right out of the box with this thing. Um, yeah, it's not going to look like a DSLR or a mirrorless camera with a really fancy lens or anything, but 
that looks halfway decent, especially when we don't have any color correction or anything like that. So with absolutely no color correction, that's really not that bad. If you guys want to see how to set this thing up as a webcam, right, on your OBS Studio or your Streamlabs, we're going to go ahead and show you guys that right about now. All right, so if you want to add your webcam as a main source on OBS Studio or Streamlabs, it's pretty much the same thing. You just come over to here where it says Sources. You hit the little plus button. You're going to find what says Video Capture Device. You click on Video Capture Device, hit Add Source. We're going to go ahead and... Uh, we're going to go ahead and add a new source. So I'm going to click add new source. We're going to call this webcam number two. You can name it whatever you want, but we're just going to put webcam number two. We're going to hit add source. Then there's going to be a drop down menu and all you got to do is come over here and pick the, uh, pick the webcam we're using, which is the Nearstream VO8AF. So just click on that. You're going to go ahead and hit uh, close and bam, your webcam is now added. Now, if you're using OBS Studio, it's kind of the same thing. You come over here, you hit the little plus button. You're going to come over and find video capture device. You're going to click that. We're going to go ahead and name this other webcam. We're going to hit OK. It's going to give us a drop down list. I would just click the Nearstream VO8AF. And when I click that, it's going to go ahead and add another webcam. But that's really all there is to it to add your webcam to OBS or Streamlabs. It's, it's really, really simple and really easy. So there we have it. That's how you set it up. That's what it looks like. That's what it sounds like and all that good stuff. I mean, generally, if I'm running a webcam, I'm usually going to use an external microphone. But, you know, if you like the way that the webcam sounds, it does have noise canceling and stuff like that. But, yeah. This has been the little teeny tiny near stream webcam guys and gals. Check that little guy out right there. It does, uh, you can turn it. It does have some adjustments and all kinds of good stuff. So it'll fit on your computer monitors. You can get it at the angle you want. And yeah, not a little, not a bad little webcam. It looks like it might even have, I don't know if that, th I don't know if that's the microphone on the back or a speaker. Dear camera. There we go. We got the crazy focus right there, but, uh, yeah, there it is. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, the pinned comment and the video's description will have a link to where you can get one of these if you're interested. And uh, it's pretty decent, I would say, for not too terribly much money. I mean, if you want to go out and spend seven, eight, nine hundred bucks, you can get a camera that looks like this. But you know, if you want to spend less than a hundred dollars, you can get something like this, and uh, it'll look pretty decent for the most part. Anyways, catch you guys later. Thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. Lightning out. See ya.